guys, it's Chris Hudson from Hudson Lighting and today I'm showing you the second viewing of the unit that we're going to have which is two doors down from the one that we viewed before. So um, this is currently the ground floor area as is. This is all being completely stripped out and will be um, taken back to pretty much nothing really. The mezzanine floor is going to stay, it's going to be a full mezzanine floor. So here's the um, toilet, can't really see much and it's pretty dark at the minute but there's a toilet there and there seems to be some sort of small kitchen area but that's all going to be refurbed and ripped out by the landlord. All this is going to come out but it um, kind of steps out and is a bit wider. Um, it's quite a low ceiling height but we should be able to fit what we need to regards to machining wise. We might struggle with a mill. Um, I think we want to add a mill later on but we'll see what happens there. Luckily all the machinery is going to go down by the... Um, by the entrance that by the shut door entrance just there so I'm going to switch over to drawing and here we go is the drawing so the drawing I did before um, kind of shows you here so this is the container originally we we're gonna have the container in here but the container is not going in here anymore it's gonna come out so we're not bothering with that any longer um, there's the existing Hass lathe that we've got at the moment that's gonna go down here and a potentially new lathe going there and then our anodizing line back there. But actually what's going to happen is where the container is, the machines are going to go up there um, instead. And then we're going to have a workflow run through. So it's going to be the machines following onto the sanding area down in this corner. Um, and then probably anodizing in the against the bottom wall, back wall, and then powder coating in the corner. And um, and then those parts can then feed through upstairs. I haven't put all the walls in place in this particular drawing. It's just literally just a rough guide to show you what's there. So I'm going to be redoing it very shortly. Um, but yeah, yeah, you can see like yeah, those, these bits and pieces are missing here. So here we go. We're back into the, that's the height. That gives you the overall height of how tall the ground floor is. That's your entrance door as it is at the minute. Um, I guess small entrance area useful for I suppose stacking up a few packages or whatever and then this end this um, subfloor here enters into the mezzanine area so this is what the mezzanine area had planned before because we we're only going to keep half the mezzanine area and uh, it's going to have 3d printing uh, in a separate room on on this side and then a pick and place machine on the on the large table and um, electronics uh, assembly etc um, against this side here and um, the, yeah, I mean just generally just kind of our kind of those sort of operations but now because we're gonna have double double the mezzanine floor I it's double this space we're gonna have all our assembly and testing on the mezzanine floor so um, and then also some storage as well um, there is an odd step in the height here and you can kind of, in a second, we're going to switch back over to the footage of when I actually went into the mezzanine floor, as you can see it as is. Um, but yeah, as I say, it's, um, it's slightly odd. So we're gonna, we were going to take it out to fit the container in, but I'm kind of glad we're not going to do that now. Kind of glad we're going to stick with the mezzanine floor. So here we go. Here's the, here's the mezzanine floor as is. So you see the windows kind of come out really low. In fact, actually come out below the floor level. And beyond those two white doors, there is the mezzanine floor extending out to this space again. So it's kind of like double the space. Um, so it's quite a good space on the mezzanine floor. I'm kind of glad it's there. Um, shouldn't impact us machinery wise and seem to will seem to make sense for us to be able to do what we want to do so continuing on up the stairway here we are now on the first floor and it's quite light and airy there's windows on the right hand side and left hand side it would look a lot more light and airy but it's because there's so much crap <laughs> in here from the existing tenant um, I say crap that's a bit mean isn't it but you know it's this stuff that they've just thrown up there um, so yeah there's there's a lot of stuff going on and there's uh, so we've got two toilets on our left and then the kitchen area here which the landlord again is refurbishing all of this and stripping it back to bare bones bare nothing um, and a view out that side there so we go over to the drawing and on the drawing area, the red area here at the top, that's where we walk through where I'm pointing my arrow now. This will be our like um, reception area. So we're probably going to have a desk over in the corner, um, one side or the other, and then I'll have um, an entrance door, and that's with the green boxes going to be my office. Then we move on to the purple area, which is going to be generally office space, a little bit of videography, that kind of thing. It's a bit flexible with regards to what we do with it. 
Um, it's actually a fair size space. We'll be able to work with that. The dark blue is our showroom. Um, so that will have some trees and that kind of thing going on in there, small stuff with some lights against it, a few different scenes and bits and pieces. Then um, onto the lime green, yellow area, um, which is our changing room. So that's going to be our staff changing room with lockers. The green area is going to be a gym. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, that kind of thing. And then we've got our red area, which is the um, cafe, um, kitchen, that kind of space. Shower and toilet in this um, mauve area. And the uh, pink is the um, general toilet. There you go. Yeah, shower and toilet there and um, general toilet there in that mauve area. Um, and then well, we'll bring you back into the space now so you can see what is what the deal is here um, so you know it's a fair size space so I was a bit concerned we weren't going to have enough space to grow into this unit but actually I think we're going to be okay especially because like I say we're keeping the whole whole mezzanine floor um, that makes a huge difference the only thing is the second half the shutter door actually does come up and interfere with that space but um, it will be above head height and it will only be on occasions. So I think the storage will more likely be that end of the mezzanine floor. That's something I'll show you um, nearer at a time before we sort of move. Um, I think it's likely that once we get the head to terms sorted out and signed, we'll have another visit um, once the unit's been cleared out. So the new existing tenant moves out on the 17th of April. So we'll probably have another visit then. I'll do another video and another update. Um, and hopefully we'll get some chance to speak to the builders about what they're going to do with the cost of refurbishment and decide what we're doing as well. Anyway, see you guys soon.